Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And I think what we're going to do today, guys, is just a real quick competition, maybe one of the 15-minute ones, uh, primarily because I just don't have the time to do 30 minutes at this point in time, but I did want to go back to the Tropical Freeze to see if I can either get some of those Barracuda or something else at night so let's go ahead I want to take a look here real quick guys I want to show you something here somebody brought this to my attention apparently on the last episode when I caught that bluegill that I said oh wow that's the biggest bluegill I've caught in this game take a look guys number four on the leaderboard <laughs> number four for bluegill that's not bad that's not bad at all I don't think I even came close with the Barracuda, but I thought I'd take a look. Nah, nah. Well, not too bad. I mean, the 69.21 is number 10. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go back here. I would wish I had more time to do a 30-minute one, but I figured I'd throw in a quick one because next time we're going to go do some night fishing for some bullheads. So... Let's go ahead and get ourselves a game started here. Now we are going to be going to Tropical Freeze. This is that weird little frozen tropical jungle, which is kind of odd. But we are going to be doing... I want to do the biggest fish this time. And we're going to be doing it at night. All right, this can be hard. This can be very hard. We may not survive. We may not come back alive, but we're going to see what happens here, guys. All right, let's go ahead and get this a start. The places here that I want to show you guys. All right. And one of them is right over here. Let me put the map on here. Click the depth finder. Now what I want to do is I want to get right over here and I hope he doesn't decide to take it. I don't know if you can see, but right where the drop off happens, right around here. A little bit further. There it is. Right there. This is a good spot, guys. Sorry. Again, we're going to be using our tiger lure. And we're going to see if we can get us a really big barracuda here. Or at least beat these guys, if nothing else. We're throwing a little bit of lure here. And let's drop her in, see if we can't get one of these big fellas. We're not very far from the starting gate, so... And that's a good thing, so all we have to do is... Yeah, we can push it. We can push it. We can push it quite a bit. Yeah, right here is good. And there's a really great spot off to the north and to the west. Northwest. Near the edge of the ice flow. And again, this is night fishing. They don't bite as often. But when they do, they do. Yeah, this has been quite an interesting week, guys. We have been... Oops, got a little bit of ice going on. Wife and I are preparing to go on a trip to Chicago. And... I mean, truthfully, my wife and I, we're, we're nerds. I mean, do we go to Chicago for, you know fancy stuff no we're going to Chicago we're gonna go see the shed aquarium the field museum we're gonna go to Brooks Zoo <laughs> I like that stuff though I'm a biologist I'm into all that stuff 
But the day, first day, we're going to go on a cruise. And it's a cruise that's pirate-themed. So I'm really looking forward to that one. You know, go out on Lake Michigan on a sailing boat with pirates. Cool stuff. Like they're really pirates on Lake Michigan. <laughs> nah. It's all in fun. There we go, guys. There we go. We've got something decent. We've got something decent. Look at how hard he's fighting us. Look at how hard he is fighting us. I don't think he's as big as that one I caught over at the Polar Storm map, but he's decent. Yeah, I kind of want to get a big enough one here to secure my place in this little competition here. But I gotta be careful because this thing is really getting into the red there. But I also don't want him to get off the hook, so. There we go. Let's see how big this guy is. He's good size, there's no doubt. Whoa! 38.37 pounds! Almost 40 pounds. Now that may have secured my spot, guys. That may have done it. Okay, let's try one more time. And then we'll move on to the other spot that I was talking about. Anyway, guys, I yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I wish I had time to do some fishing this time, but I don't think we're going to have that opportunity. But, I will be, swear to God, guys, hell and, high, hell and high water, I will be doing some fishing this month or next. And it's going to be catfishing. That is always the case. Now, I wish I had a boat, otherwise, I could go to the Toka Lake. The only problem with boat fishing is, well, my wife gets seasick on them. <laughs> Found that out the hard way a long time ago. Yeah. She can't get on one of those little, you know, bass boats. Yeah, she got pretty sick. She didn't know, though. Now, she can get on a big boat, and it doesn't seem to bother her. You know, like those cruise ships or, you know, like one of the uh, river boats. But the little fishing boats, not so much. Now, I've never been seasick a day in my life. I have always been comfortable around water in all situations. Yeah, if this takes too much longer, we're going to go ahead and move because I'm not seeing a whole lot of activity now. So that's fine. And, of course, he decided to attack it when I was scooping it out. Now, this guy's not big. I don't think it's a barracuda, but if it is, it's a small one. It's a small one, 3.35 pounds. That's his little brother. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and pull up stakes here, and we're going to head over to this other spot to which I was talking. Yeah, you just kind of bring yourself around this rock. Go all the way over here. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a little thing of land right here. Now pull yourself right in here, and this is it. Right here. And it's deep. It's really deep, but it's also right on the edge of the this like the continental shelf thing, whatever. Yeah, I caught another big one there too, so not as big as that one, but still pretty decent. So 
that's what we're gonna go after and we've got seven minutes 30 seconds so if we lay into one of those big fellas it's probably going to take pretty much all that time to get him in yeah we just got to be patient Yeah, I had one of my viewers said, you know, why are you breaking this up? Why don't you tell stories? Well, I didn't know people were into my stories. I, I didn't have a clue, honestly. But, yeah, I've got a lot of things that's happened to me, especially when fishing. or Well, I haven't been hunting in years, but I was always more of a fisherman than a hunter in real life. But backpacking... There we go, guys. I was always a bit of an outdoorsman. I'm not as big of a survivor as my buddy Delacava. I mean, I think he could probably... You could throw him into a jungle somewhere and he would survive perfectly fine. Or you could throw him into the... South Pole and he would survive perfectly fine. That man is just amazing. He really is a squatch or something. <laughs> but I still can hold my own pretty well. This is a big fish, guys. I think this one's bigger than the last one. He is kind of giving me a fight. So I better watch myself. I don't want to lose him. He's tried to get off the hook, and he's tried to snap the line, both. Keeps flashing red, and I don't like that. But no, I can I can do pretty good. I mean, you get me out in the wild, I don't even... I don't need matches. I don't need anything except my brain. My dad taught me that stuff quite young. And as long as I've got a hook and some line, I can catch what I need to eat. Let's see what this guy looks like. He's going to be kind of big, guys. Have us a feeling. He's big. Whoa, 56.88 pounds. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won this competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That'd be my guess. That would be my guess. But anyway, those are the two spots, guys, that I have found. I have fished in the others, but most of the ones down south of here, they're the Barracuda come well, smaller. I've, I think the biggest I caught was maybe about 11 or 12 pounds. Most of them were running between about 3 and six pounds so this is the spot where the big guys are but that one that I caught in polar storm that was that was a monster that was a monster Yeah, I'll tell you one thing I would love to do someday, guys, and this is this is the honest to God's truth. This has always been a fantasy of mine. I've always dreamed of going to Canada on a fishing trip. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've always dreamed of going to Canada on a fishing trip and going out to one of those lakes that are in the middle of nowhere and the only way to get there is on one of those pontoon planes and they basically fly out to the lake land on the lake and they drop you off in the middle of stinking nowhere always wanted to do that ever since I was a young man
but I have not had the opportunity. But it's definitely on my bucket list, guys. It looks like we got us a smaller fish here. And it's a good thing it's a smaller fish because I don't think I would have had time to bring it in before time ran out. Because we're almost two minutes now and I should uh, should be heading back. Oh, it's a little barracuda. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah, I better go ahead and pull stakes here, guys. I mean, it's not that far, but... You know, I hate... Nothing I hate worse than losing because you arrive late. Alright, we are in the starting gate. Anyway, let's wait for these jokers to show up. <laughs> yeah, I love night fishing. Night fishing is a lot of fun, guys. If you haven't tried it, that's one of the best things to do. And you've got to have a... Yeah, I got a bottom feed with a bell. Okay, looks like I hear a couple of people coming up now. And we still got a minute to go. See if these stragglers are going to come. It looks like they caught something. Yeah, it, se it seems to me like a lot of the reason why they didn't come last time was because they didn't catch anything. So, I have a little competition here going on. Anybody else? Yep, there's another guy. Or gal, I can't tell. It's too far away. I don't know, it kind of looks like mostly guys here. That might be a lady. I can't tell. Alright, 10 seconds, guys. I'm pretty sure that we won this. I can't imagine somebody catching Barracuda that size besides us, so... <laughs> yeah, I think I won just a little bit. 56.88 pounds, guys. The next largest size was 4.97. What did he get? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, aim straight, cast long, and have fun. Bye-bye.